I don't know about y'all, but I'm eagerly, I mean eagerly anticipating this upcoming season. You are Locked On 76ers, your daily Philadelphia 76ers podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hello, I'm Keith Pompey. Thanks for making Locked On 76 as your first listen every day. We are free and available wherever you get your podcasts and on YouTube. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. I also want to uh, thank you guys um, for, for tuning in. And I especially want you guys to you know to know that today's episode is brought to you by Jace Medical. Empower yourself when you purchase a Jace case, providing you with a personal supply of five antibiotics that treat 50 plus infections. Get yours today at jacemedical.com. That's jace, J-A-S-E, medical.com. Well, look, today I want to talk to you guys about my anticipation, you know, my anticipation for this upcoming season. You know, there's been a lot uh, to talk about. Um, you know, we have a lot of, you know, what is James Harden going to do? Is Joel Embiid going to be the guy? Is he going to be an MVP? Is Tyrese Maxey going to take the next step? Are they going to trade James Harden? And if James Harden is traded, who else is going to go with him? Tobias Harris, is this going to be his last year? And will he finish out the season? as a 76er. So there's been a lot of things that, you know, been on um, everyone's mind with the 76er season. And it's one of those things where me personally, you know, I'm a little bit on, I'm on vacation, really I'm on vacation. So I tried to take a little step back, right? I tried to use this time as time to, you know, spend time with my family, you know, go on a couple of vacations. And what I mean by vacations mean like, leave the city um, and go on little trips. Um, but right about now, I, I'll be honest with you. I'm, I miss, <laughs> I miss covering the NBA. I do. I, I miss the interaction with uh, people on the beat. I miss uh, the interaction with players. I miss all this. And this here is also, I want to see how things play out. I mean, I know that there are a lot of people, friends, that I have friends who had partial plans or had season tickets. Some of them were, you know, either didn't renew them or didn't want to renew them. Or, you know, some are still a little portion of them are still going ho, gung ho over the Sixers. But you get my drift. It's like right now there's a lot of people down on the team. But me... I just want to see it play out, right? I am. And it's funny because, you know, sometimes you when you're in it, you're covering a team for a while, you say to yourself, oh, here we go again, here we go again, here we go again, right? The same old storyline. Like, you know, it's going to be a lot of hype early on. You know that the 76ers are going to, going to go on some runs. Everything is going to be cool. Um, and then all of a sudden, you know, you you understand that they go out in the second round. You're like, oh, here we go again. Here we go again. But right now, like, there's a lot of uncertainty with this season. You know, the expectation when Nick Nurse was hired was that, okay, they're going to go to the Eastern Conference Finals. It's going to be Eastern Conference Finals or bus, right? That was the expectation. Um, but – now, there aren't any. You know that? I mean, and I shouldn't say there aren't any high ones outside of the organization. I mean, there's certain people thinking, like, maybe the Sixers team is about to take a step, step back. Um, you know, me, I just want to see. I want to see it. Like, you know, I'm not one of those people who think that 
you got to get less is more from Joel and B from the Sixers for the Sixers to be successful. Right. And my reasoning is because when you look at a guy like Joel, Joel is what? One of the most dominant players, arguably the most dominant offensive force, unstoppable force in the NBA right now. Like when Joel wants to play and when Joel wants to do stuff, he can carry a team. We saw it with the 59 point effort, the blocks, all those other things that he did. And, you know, when you look at the Sixers, the Sixers team, the roster has some deficiencies. So you need that. I feel like the, what, what we think about a lot is when you have Joel and you look at him, you're like, he a ball, he doing this, he doing that. A lot of times when he goes with the flow, I mean, sometimes it's not as successful. I mean, it isn't. Now, get me wrong, there are certain games where it happens, you like great ball movement, but I'm talking about against marquee competition, against those must-win games, like those, those like, okay, I'm marked on my circle. Like, a lot of times, you knew it. You need to, well, to, to produce. And here's something else with Joel. When you talk about Joel Embiid and you, and you talk to people around the league and you'll say, Oh, uh, Joel's made it all. Uh, they, they can't win without him. You need Joel to be dominant to win. So, you know what I mean? So um, that so that's an aspect where I'm looking forward to. I want to see how Nick Nurse is going to utilize him. I want to see if 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 he's going to be another 30 plus scorer sc- going for the scoring title. I want to see if he does less, you know what I mean? If he does less, and if he does less, I want to see how productive the Sixers are with him doing that, doing less, and how productive he is. So those are certain things that, you know, I really um, have on the top of my head, things that, you know, I'm excited about um, seeing or excited about, you know, the possibilities, right? Those are certain things that I really um, am am looking forward to. But right now I want to talk to y'all about uh, Jace Medical, right? So here's the thing about Jace, right? Uh, The Jace case provides five life-saving antibiotics for emergency use. All it takes to get a, a Jace case is fill out a simple online form, and in some cases, jump on a quick call with one of our board-certified physicians. Get ongoing care uh, from our physicians on any treatment-related questions. Doctor created, doctor recommended, right? The thing is, you don't want to be caught unprepared. Everyone should be empowered to care for themselves and their loved ones during the unexpected. Jace um, handles everything from online evaluation to licensed pharmacy, medical delivery, and ongoing consultant and care, right? So this, you want to be, you want to take care of yourself, people. You really do, right? So what you need to do is you need to save more than $360 by getting these life-saving antibiotics with Jace Medical, plus an additional $20 off by using the code locked on at checkout at jacemedical.com. That's jacemedical.com. I'm talking about J A S E medical.com. I'm telling you, do it today, people. Definitely do it today. Now, there's something else that I really want to see, right? I really want to see. And, um, you know, I, I guess. It's something that everybody wants. So I want to see how this James Harden thing plays out. You know, you do, like, you know, you hear one of those things, the reports coming out that, and people saying like, look, James doesn't have a problem with his teammates. He doesn't have a problem with the coaching staff. Um, that he and Rico Hines are friends, right? You know, he typically participates in the Rico, Rico Hines open run at UCLA. 
So you hear all this stuff, right? So you say to yourself, like, well, does his relationship with his teammates, does his relationship with the coaching staff, particularly Rico Hines, does that lead to his possibly changing his mind and coming back and playing for the 76ers? Because if you really want to be real, his best way for him to get paid. Now, maybe going to the Clippers might be his best way to get a championship, right? Who knows? That could be debated. But his best way to get paid moving forward might be to come back to Philly and ball out, right? It may be, you know? So the thing is, is it one of those things? How is this going to play out? You know, really, because, you know, a lot of times we in negotiations and stuff like that, things get personal. Guys say things and then at the 11th hour, they sign or they come back. I mean, a prime example, and it didn't get to this point, but a prime example was Saquon Barkley, the New York Giants, right? Saquon was holding out saying he needed more money, he wasn't going to sign this, he wasn't going to sign that. And then at the end of the day, he signs the contract, and people are like, wow, he signed that, he held out for that. We get it, right? But that typically happens. Now, this one has been real public. Um, things have been said, the league fine James, the union trying to fight it. So all these things are happening. However, I want to see how it plays out because, you know, it seems like James still has a pretty good relationship with his guys. You also want to see how that impacts everyone else, right? So those are, you know, certain things that we talk about, but the James Harden aspect is the elephant in the room. Like I could have made this the most anticipated thing that I have, right, that I want to. But at the same time, it's kind of like you also think that you people expect you to say that or you know you're going to say that because it is what it is. So, but, you know, I want to see it. Like, I want to see how and how does that impact the team? Like, if James is in here, who's going to be the point guard? Is it going to be Pat Bev? Like, you know, Pat Bev went to Minnesota. He was a leader. You know, Pat Bev brings that defensive intensity. He does a lot of different things. Are you going to put the ball in Tyrese Maxey's hand, right? You know, so there's a lot of things that I want to see playing out. But also, I want to see how it is because I feel like the Sixers, you know, we can look at it and we can say, man, they didn't bring anybody back for the most part. Talking about bench players, right? They didn't bring anybody back. But then when you think about it and you look at the grand scheme of things, how many of those players got minutes in the Celtics series? Not a lot of them, right? How many of them can, do you feel like can realistically help them win the championship, right? Um, and, you know, you know, the Sixers didn't really offer them a lot of money to stay, and they want other places where they were going to get money. And people were a little disappointed about that. And they have a right to be disappointed, right? You do. You have a right to be disappointed that you, the team didn't go out and get your favorite player. But then you have to ask yourself, the player that they didn't resign. Did that play, were you happy with that player's performance in the postseason, in the second round series? Did that player, would the player make the rotation? Now, you can argue that Doc Rivers didn't utilize him the right way. You can make that argument. But then you got to ask yourself, why didn't he utilize him the right way? What didn't he see from that player? So, you know what I mean? So, I want to see. What can Mobamba do, right? What is Pat Bev going to do? You know, Danny Green, what type of role is he going to play? 
assuming he's going to make the team, right? You, you know? So to me, there's a lot of things. But again, the main focus, the main thing is, is it's going to be hard, right? It's hard. It's like, what is James Harden going to be able uh, to bring to the 76ers if he stays? And what type of void or is he or is he going to create if he leaves? Another thing is you want to know, like, let's be real. If James, um, if James uh, gets traded, well, who are you going to acquire? What type of pieces are you going to acquire, right? You know, so that's a major, that's a major uh, question. But look, y'all, I want y'all to get ready for the NFL season with the incredible offers from FanDuel. America's number one sports book. Right now, new customers can bet $5 and get 200 in bonus bets, guaranteed. Plus, all customers who bet $5 will get $100 off NFL Sunday ticket from YouTube and YouTube TV. Now is the best time to join FanDuel. The app is easy to use, and you can bet on anything from spreads to player props and more. So visit FanDuel.com slash LockedOn and kick off the M- NFL, about to say NBA, kick off the NFL season with um, an offer you won't miss. FanDuel, official partner of the NFL. I told you all I'm missing this season, right? Look at me. I'm saying, about to say NFL, NBA when I'm talking about NFL. But that just tells you my excitement level to see what the Sixers are going to do. Right. I am. It is and a new coaching staff. You know, you want to see also how Nick Nurse has this team. You want to see that. Right. You'll see. That. And there are also two other players that really piques my interest. Um, you know, like the thing is, there's been a lot of talk about Paul Reed. Right. Or how much Nick Nurse loves Paul Reed. I mean, loves him to a point where, you know, you hear that, you know, he looks at Paul as if, uh, you know, like he can be a Pascal Siakam type. So I want to see this because when you look at Paul, you know, he's a guy that's athletic. He's a guy that he did go through a growth spurt in high school, right? But you got to understand when he, well, when he started out, he was a small forward in high school. And then he goes to uh, DePaul and he plays the power forward, four spot. And then he comes to the Sixers and they make him a center in today's NBA. Like, you know, the centers are more athletic, a little smaller. You know, the guys who were typically traditionally back in the day, power forwards, right? A lot of teams are, you know, they, they switch to that. Not too many Joel and B's out there. And then Jaden Springer. I want to see what Jaden Springer can do. I do. Because, you know, Jaden is a guy, this is a vital year for him, you think? You know, he's a guy that's, you know, um, had a, it's going to be his third year in the NBA. And this is a time when, for guys, you realize if they're going to be a keeper or not. You know, some guys, not a lot of guys, unfortunately, especially first-round picks, young ones, who, you know, we all think that they're going to be the man, they're going to be the man, they're going to be the man. And then all of a sudden you see where the team that drafted them decides to trade them. And then next thing you know, they're traded to other teams. And then next thing you know, they're no longer in the league. So you have all three of those things going on. But what I want to see is what is Jaden going to do when he gets an opportunity? Because let's face it, he really didn't get an opportunity, right? It was a tough spot to be in. The Sixers had championship aspirations his first and second season. And he was a young guy. The second youngest, when he was drafted, he was the second youngest player in the draft, right? So with that being said, there's not a lot of opportunities, man, especially for a late first rounder. So he had to deal with all that. So I really want to see what he can do. I do. Paul Reed, I want to see it. You know, they're saying that he could be a Pascal Siakam type. Well, let's see it. He's also making more money that he's made before, right? So sometimes that can be added pressure. That can be this, or it can free you up. You can be like, yo, 
I made it. I can relax. I can do whatever. Right. So those are two things that I really want to see. Seriously. Two things I really, really want to see. But look, y'all, I want to thank y'all for listening. Right. Uh, I want y'all to have a blessed day. You can um, get this podcast wherever you get your podcast at. It's free and available. You can also go to the YouTube channel, Locked On 76ers YouTube. When you go there, make sure you click on the Liberty Bell, right? That does two things. First, it makes you a new subscriber. Secondly, you get notified whenever I have a new Locked On 76ers podcast. So do take care of that today, right? And um, make sure, like I said, make Locked On 76ers your first listen. Do it today, people. Definitely do it today.